If you're a millennial or younger in America, chances are you were taught from early on to care for the environment and recycle. But while some of us sort and recycle our waste for environmental reasons, thousands depend on these commodities to survive. I see it as money. I see the money on the floor every day, all day. And if I'm in the mood or if I have the energy to do, I'll start picking it up. And then once I get a bag, it'll get me rolling. If it's like at least five bucks or over, and I can just build on that. Juan, right here, is one of over 130,000 homeless people in the state of California. And on a daily basis, he depends on these recyclables to support his family. I got a shopping cart, so I gotta go look for one. You know what? Okay. I got it. I love you. Give mama kisses. Here. Go ahead. Here. Give mama kisses. Give mama kisses. Give mama kisses. Love you. Love you, sis. Love you, sis. Love you, sis. Heather and Rocky. My wife and our dog. We live in a tent right now. We lost our apartment a few months ago, so that's what we're dealing with now. We live in a tent. So we're homeless. We're homeless. I usually don't take one of these, but when he's with me, I take one. So he can get, you know, be comfortable throughout the ride. Huh, <laughs> oh boy? Good boy. Let me get my bike, boy. Come on. Oh, man, the day. Sometimes it seems like it just blurs into the, it doesn't ever end, it doesn't ever begin. Like being out here, it's not that, it's not that comfortable sometimes. It's a little dangerous. I try to make it as comfortable on Heather as possible. I'd rather take all the, like the, I guess the blows, if you will, because I don't want her to have to struggle as much. His day usually starts around the same time as yours, but unlike most of us, he'll spend the next 12 to 15 hours pushing a shopping cart while looking for bottles, cans, and other recyclables. Man, I'm almost 50, man, so I figure like riding around on my bike and doing all this is, has kept me kind of young, you know? I see guys like half my age that look shot the f out already. Shot out. Too soon in life. Back in the mid 80s, states wanted to incentivize recycling. So they created these bottle bills, which gave people who recycled certain types of cans and bottles cash on site based on their cash redemption value. Eventually, these rebate laws created an off the books industry of their own, becoming one of the few ways in which homeless people across the US can make ends meet. You can, there's places that go by item, like Ralph's, they have machines where you put every individual can and bottle, they give you the same thing. Like the big, the bigger cans and the bigger bottles they give you 10 cents for. The, the, the regular size ones will give you five cents for. And now if you really want to break it down and do it like to get the most money you can, you bring the cans here and the heavy plastic. And then those water bottles, you'll bring them over there because they don't weigh nothing. On a good day, one can make up to $40. And while this seems like an effective relationship between the environment and Juan's survival, what he's doing is technically illegal across the U.S. Scavengers are putting the Department of Sanitation's recycling program at risk by removing the most valuable recyclables, both redeemable containers and metal items. Would you consider that even in small amounts, they're technically, what they're doing is it's, stealing from them? It's technically theft to take anything off the sidewalk that is being left for sanitation collection. However, the enforcement of the key codes around scavenging is only when you use a motorized vehicle. But the city does have a revenue sharing agreement, so to the extent that we have more valuable portions of the recycle stream that aren't there, the less funding we will receive back. I'm not aware of it being illegal. The cities probably don't want you to do that because it, it, it attracts kind of a different element from the, from the normal kind of citizen. People that are a little bit more down on their luck and stuff. So I don't think it's illegal, but it's not, it's frowned upon in some places. Let me grab a cigarette right here for my girl real quick. Everybody that we know recycles. Usually people will start out, the ones that like make it a profession, will get up at about four in the morning and start. But by the end of the night, I'll get about $15 worth of stuff. But it takes me about a good day and a half to get it, what we need. The Heather keeps me civilized. She's the reason why I stay on the right path. I used to be a little bit more uncivilized, I guess you could say. 
They got me for about a good 20 years of my life already in prison. I'm 48. They got me for most of my 20s and 30s because I did a couple robberies. I robbed a couple of drug dealers. It makes your mind your enemy. I think that's where I don't like to walk comes from. I don't like to be bored. Always doing something. So I've been doing a lot more recycling lately. One note is that as people continue to be more environmentally conscious, there will be less plastic and less aluminum for him to collect in the next few years. But he says that's a good thing. He cares for the environment. And he says he's hopeful for a better future. Well, I know I'm capable of almost anything. So yeah, this is just something that's side that we're doing just to just keep going until we find out what we're gonna do that's a little bigger than this.